Hey, welcome to Craft Central Designs. My name is Dwyn. Check out these oh so so cute bunnies. Full disclosure, I did not come up with the idea to put bunny hats on a wood block. I saw this idea last year on Pinterest and I knew I wanted to try making these bunnies this year. I did, however, figure out just how to make these bunnies and I added all of my own embellishment ideas as well as the bunny ears that actually bend. This was a fun project and I'm taking you with me while I figure out just how to make these oh so cute, cute, cute bunnies. Okay, so let's look at the materials we need for this project. You need two pieces of wood, three inches by one inches. You need one 10 inch long piece and one eight inch long piece. I will put this in the description box. You also need a piece of uh, batting fabric. This comes on a bolt by the yard. You need some Waverly Snow White chalk paint or just a white acrylic paint is fine. And a collection of ribbons as I characteristically do have on hand because you know I love to make bows. So there goes the avalanche of uh, ribbons just like I normally have on my table every day. Um, we have some scrapbook paper, not sure which one I was gonna use yet there, with which is gonna go on it a flower, a wood flower. And I have here a little round wood piece that I'm gonna put some lace on. We have some Mod Podge to put the scrap of paper on the wood flower. A foam rose that I got at Dollar Tree. Some very thin black wire that we're gonna make the whiskers out of. Some very cute buttons. I believe I got these at Hobby Lobby. All different sizes and shapes. I have some buttons that I may or may not use as eyes. Those are from uh, Hobby Lobby. And some half wood rounds that I got on Amazon for the nose on the bunnies. I have scissors applicator to put on the Mod Podge, silicone tool, some scissors, pipe cleaners, and some pink um, paint to paint the noses on the um, bunnies. So we're just gonna start out by taking our wood pieces and apply a nice generous coat of Waverly Snow White chalk paint. But as I said before, you can use any kind of paint that you like. You just want to put a nice solid coat of paint on the top, bottom, front, and back. The same with the small one, of course. Be sure to get in those little crevices, those little defects in the wood. You want a nice, smooth, solid, white coat of paint for your bunny bodies. So I went ahead and I made one of the bunny hats because I wanted to be certain um, exactly how much batting fabric we needed for that. Up oh, <laughs> the bending ear, love it. But I'm going to actually show you exactly how I made the bunny hat. So I'm gonna do that on the larger um, 10 inch piece of wood. So here we have uh, the batting fabric. You're gonna cut out 12 inches wide by 18 inches long. The soft side of the fabric is going to be facing up. Now this is going to form the, the hat that's going to sit right on top of that wood block. So first thing we're going to do is straighten out, make sure it's nice and straight to begin with. Straighten out your fabric. And for the 
brim of the hat, if you will. I'm going to fold it over about two to two and a half inches and then fold it over again on itself, like so. So we're going to get the hot glue gun, run a strip of glue there, fold that over, wait till it adheres. And see how I folded that over on itself there? Now I have like a little brim for the hat. And you're gonna put a nice stream of hot glue there to hold that down. And there we have the brim of the hat. Now the next thing we're going to do is cut a line straight down the middle of the opposite side of the fabric from the brim. This is going to be how we form the ears of the bunny hat. So I'm gonna take a tape measure, you can take a ruler, and you're gonna measure an eight inch long cut that you're gonna make right down the center of that piece of fabric. Just to mark where I need to stop my line, I just put a little pipe cleaner there. I, I just eyeballed it, but I went right down the center. This is going to create what we're, what's going to become the two ears of the bunny hat, that is. Okay, now we're going to begin putting the hat on the wood block. Now, the hat itself on the wood block is going to take up about three inches of space. So you're gonna wrap that um, piece of fabric around, allowing for about three inches of fabric to be resting right on the uh, wood block. You're gonna turn it over, stretch out the uh, fabric for the bunny ears there. And we're going to glue this down with hot glue. And this batting will adhere very well to the wood with the hot glue. And hold that down till it dries. And then we're going to fold over the other side right on top of it. Just trimming away a little bit of the excess fabric that was there. Hot glue that down and hold it till it's nice and secure and adhered to, to the uh, fabric and the wood block. Be careful not to burn yourself. I should be using my tool there, but I wasn't. Oops, then it came off a little bit. Putting it back on again. Probably need another dab of glue. Okay, now you can see here exactly how we're gonna form the bunny ears. And they should be even. If you created that eight inch cut right down the middle, your ears should be even when you go to, to uh, match them up. Now what we're going to do is glue down the back, the rest of the back of the hat all the way up to the point where we made that cut. So this is going to um, 
close up the back of the hat. Press that down, let it dry, all the way up to where you see the, the split where the ears begin on the hat. All right, so now here we have the two bunny ears. Now, of course, we have to add a pipe cleaner because as I mentioned in a previous video, always use a pipe cleaner so that I can create um, a bend in, in ears. I also do this for gnome hats, but this is a great trick because it enables you to add a lot of cuteness to your project. You're gonna run a line of glue right on the inside of that ear Press your pipe cleaner right down into the glue. Now you want your pipe cleaner very close to the edge, but leave just a tiny bit of fabric on the other side of the pipe cleaner so that when you go to glue the, the um, ear closed, you're going to be matching up fabric to fabric, but not and not just to the pipe cleaner, if that makes any sense. Leave a little tiny bit of fabric and now we're gonna put a stream of glue there and we're gonna match up fabric to fabric there. And plain words, your pipe cleaner will be just inside of the seam of that bunny ear. And this is where that silicone tool comes in very handy. And we're going to do exactly the same thing for the other ear. All right, so I completed the other ear, just like the one I showed you. The next thing we're going to do is we have bunny ears that are straight across, so we have to fix that. We're going to round those bunny ears off a little bit so they actually look like bunny ears. Just by eyeballing it, you're going to round that out, trim it up a little bit. And now you have something that looks like a bunny ear. I'm going to take our hot glue gun, put a string of stream of glue there to close off or close up that bunny ear. Press it together, be sure it's nice and secure. And I completed the other side. Now we have two bunny ears. So cute, oh my gosh, it's coming along really well now. All right, so. Now what we have to do is figure out how to gather up the top of that, the bunny hat. And we're gonna do that, do so by just pinching the ears together. Right, at, right where the, um, the ears separate, you're gonna pinch right there. Gather it up. Hold it firmly between your fingers. And we're going to use a white pipe cleaner. And this worked like a charm. I love how now that, that bunny hat is a little bit gathered. It's got a little bit of give on the hat and then the bunny ears. Oh my gosh, look at that. So cute. Gotta love a pipe cleaner, I'm telling you. <laughs> it's good for so many things. Is that so cute or what? All right, so now we get to have fun embellishing these two bunnies. Now what I did was I took a little wood round, I believe this was like 
maybe two and in, maybe an inch I guess and I add this scrap piece of roughly kind of lace and I wanted to um, adhere it to this wood round to give a little frilly look to uh, the bunny so I did that by snipping along the uh, edge of the uh, lace or ruffle and that enabled me to encircle it around that wood round. And now I'm applying a flower, a button flower, right on top of that wood round. This is going to go on the head of the bunny right between the ears. So cute. Now all the colors going to begin to appear on the bunnies, which really makes them so incredibly cute. So I went ahead and I glued that on right at the base of the ears. And now for the other bunny, I have that wood flower that I'm going to apply some scrapbook paper to. I just simply put that wood flower um, on the scrapbook paper, traced around it with a pencil, now I'm using a little bit of Mod Podge, covering that flower with a nice um, layer of Mod Podge, not too thick, not too thin. And I'm going to apply that scrapbook paper flower right on top of that wood cutout. This is going to go um, at the base of the ears on the other bunny. And now I have this foam rose that I got at Dollar Tree. I just love these foam roses. And I'm going to apply that foam rose right to the center of that wood flower. Now later you're going to see that I added a little bit more to this um, embellishment for the hat. But for right now, this is this is what's going on the uh, bunny hat. I'm going to put it right at the base of the ears. Okay. So now we're going to start working on the face. Now these are wood half rounds that I got on Amazon. And these are going to be the eyeballs. So I got some black paint, put them on some painter's tape to make it more convenient to hold them and paint them. And they're drying right now. So now we're going to work on the whiskers. Now for the whiskers on the smaller block, I made the spiral of the whiskers a little bit smaller than the spirals uh, that went on the larger bunny. And I'll show you how I made those. I take about 12 inches of wire and I cut that off. And now I'm going to fold that in half. So actually, this is going to create two whiskers at one time. Now for the smaller bunny, I just use a pencil to wrap the wire around to co make the coiled whiskers look super cute on these bunnies. For the larger bunny, I used the handle of my foam brush. So I'm just going to put that piece of wire on my pencil and wrap it around and around and around. Pull it off and there you have whiskers. You can separate them, make them go all kinds of 
different ways. That's what makes these these uh, wire whiskers so cute. I'm going to do repeat that, but I'm going to show you how I did it for the larger one. Fold that wire in half, cut it 12 inches. So when I fold it in half, obviously it's six inches. I put the part that I folded over underneath my thumb and I coil it, pull it off. And there you have whiskers for the larger bunny. I ended up using two sets for each um, bunny. Now for the noses of the bunnies, those are wood half rounds. I painted them pink. On the larger bunny, I used a little bit larger nose. And on the smaller bunny, I used a smaller nose, which actually the wood round for the smaller bunny and the eyes were exactly the same size wood half round. Now I told you I added a little something something <laughs> on this flower because I felt like it still needed something. So I took this little roughly lace and I cut it to fit around that foam rose right at the base of it. And in order to get it to conform to the shape of the uh, rounded flower, I just put little snips in the base of the fabric. And when, that's a trick to use when you want something straight to curve around something round. You just snip the base of the fabric or the lace or the ribbon, whatever it is you're trying to um, fit around something round. And then I decided that this also needed a little something. So I wanted to bring in uh, another color um, on this bunny. So I really like these teal colored flowers. So I decided to use a smaller flower that's of a little bit of a different uh, shape and put it right on top of that uh, purple flower. Now I've brought in another color to the bunny, which I really like. All right, so now it's time to apply the eyes. Little dab of hot glue. And the nose. And now what I decide to do at this point in time is to get some pink paint and apply a little blush to the cheeks. Now what I do is I put a paper towel in the plate, dip my paintbrush in there, and then I rub it off most of the paint off of my paintbrush, and I dry brushing a little bit of pink on the cheeks of this bunny, which really adds a lot of cuteness. If you should get too much pink, and it doesn't look exactly right to you after you're finished just wash your brush out take out a little white paint do the same thing dry brush and then just dab it over any areas that you feel that you are a little heavy-handed with the pink so in plain words if you get too much pink on the cheeks it's very rectifiable it's very easy to fix that Just use a little circular motion, very light handed with a dry brush. And there you go. Now it's time to apply the whiskers.
And then I decided, Dwyane, why did you put that nose on there first? So I had to pry it back off. <laughs> you get to see me make my mistakes as well. All right, so now first what we're going to do, instead of putting the nose down first, is we're going to put a little tap of glue there, and we're going to start applying the whiskers, and then we're going to put the nose on top of the whiskers. So we use our little silicone tool there to hold that down. And we're going to use two sets of whiskers on each side. Now these whiskers you can arrange and do what you want with them later. But for right now, you just want to get the placement right, right down the center of the face. Remember the smaller spirals go on the smaller bunny, the ones we wrapped around the pencil, and then the ones that we wrapped around the foam brush are a little bit bigger and those go on the little bit bigger bunny. I'm going to press down our whiskers nice and firm with our silicone tool. We're going to put that bunny nose back on. Eventually, I'm getting around to it here. <laughs> I was having a little trouble getting those wires to stay there and behave like I wanted them to. And there goes the bunny nose right on top of the, the wires. Now it's really starting to look really super cute. You can always trim those up with your wire cutters any way that you like them. I kind of like them a little wild and crazy. It's going this way and that way. Oh, so cute. Oh my gosh. Love it. Okay, now, so I wanted to put my buttons on now. I tried out different ones to see which ones I liked, and this is what I came up with. So I put the three buttons right down the center of the bunny. Now I'm going to make a bow, of course. <laughs> it goes without saying with every project, right, with me. Love this ribbon, you've seen it before polka dots on the top, stripes on the underside. Love, love this ribbon. It's from Hobby Lobby. It's just a great quality ribbon. Okay, I'm going to make a four loop bow or two loops on each side. Watch my uh, how to make a bow video and how to make a mixed ribbon bow video. We'll give you a little preface to um, watching me make these bows and other videos. Okay, so I use a little pipe cleaner to secure those four loops. I'm actually going to make a mixed ribbon bow. I love mixed ribbon bows. They create so much visual uh, interest and texture. I love that. I'm trying to decide there where am I going to put the bow? I just know it's definitely going to have a bow. This uh, ribbon I got at Dollar Tree. It was very um, kind of unruly, if you will. It was, it was very super, super thin. Um, not a huge fan of Dollar Tree ribbon. Um, I'm a huge fan of Dollar Tree, but not necessarily their ribbon. So I did a four loop bow, two loops on each side. I really wanted to bring uh, out the uh, yellow on the bunny and I, the, the button is yellow and I thought it would be really good to match all that up. 
and bring out that color in the bow. So I'm struggling a little bit with this ribbon here because like I said, it's like so thin, this ribbon. But it ultimately does the trick for what I needed it for. So that ribbon is going to go on top of that purple polka dot ribbon. Now I'm going to bring in one more color to pick up the color on that button that's on the uh, hat of the bunny. Now this is a thinner um, ribbon, polka dotted. I believe it's from Michaels. So I just did a four loop bow on there. A little bit smaller loops than I did on the other two two bows. All three of these are going to be attached together. And I'm shaping my loops there, cutting off the pipe cleaner in the back. Now we're going to attach all three of these together. See how that adds so much color. Now um, I just added a dab of glue to connect all these together. Press it down to be sure they're all secure together. that I'm trying to decide here if I'm going to wrap this ribbon around to finish off the center of this bow. But I believe ultimately I decided to put a yellow flower in the middle. And I'm glad I did that because it turned out just so cute. See how cute that looks? A little dab of glue there in the center. I'm going to attach that flower. Flower button, actually. Oh, it's so cute. This is the package of flowers that I was referring to before. I believe I got those at Hobby Lobby. I think they also have them at Walmart in the uh, sewing department. So I'm trying to decide where am I going to put this cute little bow. So I'm trying it in all different places. And I ultimately decide that it's going to go on the hat off to the side. So now we're going to work on the larger bunny. And put the eyes on. And then now I know, <laughs> don't put the nose on yet. <laughs> I put it there, but I was smart enough this time not to glue it down. So I'm going to rosy up the cheeks just like I did on the other bunny. And you saw me already put the... Uh, whiskers on so I didn't need to show you that again and now we're going to dress up this bunny I also got these very cute heart shaped buttons I got those at Walmart in the sewing department they're super cute so I just decided to mix flowers and hearts for the for the buttons I'm going to glue those down now that I've decided that's where I want them.
And of course, this bunny is going to get a bow as well. Got this pretty uh, pink ribbon with the stitching along the edge at Walmart and the sewing department. And then there's that familiar purple and white polka dot from Hobby Lobby, one of my favorites. I'm going to make my four loop bow. And I shape the loops. And I'm going to add a little pink as well. Oh, I decided to use a white heart button. It's going to go right in the center of that bow. So I'm going to make another bow, a mixed ribbon bow. This is going to end up being. And I believe I made a four loop bow with two little loops on each side. The pretty color pink. And a pipe cleaner to secure it. I'm gonna wrap it around, twist it in the back. angle my tails as I typically do. I'm going to attach that pink bow to the purple one and put that little heart right in the center. It's going to be so cute. And then I have to decide exactly where I'm going to put this very cute bow. Oh, very cute. How many times have I said cute in this video? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think, I, I think I'm, I'm overusing the word, but this bunny is so cute. And there I go again. Okay, so I think I decided on this bunny that I was going to put that bow right above the buttons, right down the middle. And I held it on there, obviously, with hot glue. It's so cute. And there I go again. <laughs> but you have to be thinking it, right? It is so adorable. I changed my word that time. And I felt that it needed just a little something more. Just something very small. So I decided on a little tiny pink bow. This ribbon is so cute. So because this bow is so tiny, I used a little tiny thin wire to hold those two loops secure and I'm going to trim that off because that's going to get glued right to the hat in case you're wondering where I'm going to put that and I decided that it's just going to go right off to the side right above the brim of the bunny hat. Then I went into the little package of flower buttons and I found a really tiny 
tiny purple one. So I thought, how cute, there's that word again, to put it right in the middle of that bow. So I angle my tails and I'm going to attach that right to the side of the hat just to give it a little something. Love it. Now, one more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little white dot on each of the eyes. Give them a little more of a realistic look. Just a little tiny white dot. Use a very tiny um, brush to do that. And then I also did one more little thing. I did a little kind of a white wash over the top of the nose. I did. I do this to my my reindeers <laughs> at Christmas time when I do reindeer projects. And here we have these absolutely adorable bunnies. If you like what you see on my channel, please subscribe, hit the like button, and leave your comments in the comment box below. And here we have one last look at these very adorable pair of bunnies. So until next time, take care.